Brooklyn and Tracy caught because Sasha saw Tracy give Brooklyn that flash drive. You know, she just told Maxie and Lucy that she had it at home. She was just trying to, you know, work on the business and everything. Uh, trying to prove herself, basically. But I said, look, she caught now. Now Sasha's going to go tell. And I said, look, we still don't even know. Was the deceptor originally Tracy's idea or what? But yeah, Brooklyn admitted that she's the one who did it because Lucy and Max were going back and forth. They was just saying insulting things. Look, you can't once you say something, you can't take it back. Once you say something, you can't take it back. And she finally admitted that she did it, but she didn't tell the whole truth. She just came up with a cover story. But Sasha ended up seeing her at the end of the episode, reach that seeing Tracy reach that flash drive back to uh Brooklyn. But yeah, uh, what else happened? Lucy's still skeptical of Martin, and Felicia told her, you know, if she dig up under that rock and everything, you know, that's going to be the end of her relationship, and she told her to do it anyway. So they about to go out of town to Pine, Pine uh, Valley and find out, you know, who's sending the Is they just going to tell who's sending the deposit or what? How are they supposed to find out? Well, of course, she a PI, so they could give any type of cover story. But, yeah, um... Uh, Y'all hear my niece crying in the background. She getting out her dead. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, they going. She told Martin she was going on a trip. I said, you ain't supposed to tell him. But she said it was for deception. So, you know, he ain't going to suspect anything. Yeah, he finna get caught slipping now. And I said, but I don't understand still. Maybe they're going to further explain it as the uh, storyline progresses or something. Okay, um, Tracy. Tracy wants Martin to take over EOQ, you know, for the time being. And I said, I thought... The whole reason they was in this whole situation with Drew and Ned and Valentine and everything is because they wanted somebody in the family to run ELQ. So why would she ask Martin? She told me Martin is the next choice to run ELQ. And I said, I thought they only wanted family to run the business. I'm confused. What's the point? But yeah, now she asked Martin or whatever. He agrees to temporarily run it. And I said, that don't make sense. <laughs> I, then she said she didn't want to do it. I don't know. But all these other family members that could be in charge. But she asked Martin, the lawyer. I said, ain't that Valentine lawyer too? And I said, how would you, why did, would you ask? She must got something up her sleeve. Even Brooklyn warned him about uh, her grandmother and everything. Now she done got her in a situation. Look, she needs to go to Chase right now. She needs to go to Chase right now and tell everything she knows or else it's going to cost her her relationship as well. But yeah, Finn, Elizabeth, Terry. So Finn still want Elizabeth. Elizabeth still want him. Tracy told Finn, trying to tell Finn that it's not, he shouldn't pursue it while Terry is telling Elizabeth to be honest with Finn and everything. And I said, look here, by the time uh, Elizabeth and Finn get together, somebody from one of their past is going to come back. Y'all know how it goes. Somebody from their past, they might bring Franco back. Who knows at this point? Who knows at this point? Sam, Christina, Molly, Alexis. Look, do y'all think that they finna get ready to have Christina be the surrogate or just be the one to carry Molly and TJ's baby or something or something in the lines of that? Because Christina, they said some spoiler about Christina's supposed to help in some way. And I said, look, I hope, I don't know if they're going with that storyline or not. But they did have Christina mention how she's the only sister that, you know, can conceive and everything. Because, you know, Sam, this Sam used to have complications as, as well. But basically, everyone was just comforting Molly and everything. Uh, TJ was talking to Curtis and Marshall about, you know, the Molly situation, her not being able to get pregnant and everything, just encouraging him. Um, who else did we hear? But y'all let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure you check out my story. The link will be in the description. Until next time, this is this.